So hi guys, welcome po sa so, Hugot Ship na yan. This is Sir JV, your matka hugot. And welcome po sa aking channel. So for today's topic, we will be discussing about rewriting standard form of linear equation into slope intercept form. But now guys, using our shortcut version. So yung discussion po natin on the previous lesson po natin, siya guys yung traditional na paraan ng pagkasagot po nito. I do not know if you have find other video na tulad po nito, pero this is my shortcut way of answering the following uh, problem po natin. So guys, tara guys, tambay ka dito sa akin. So matok kahugot. So welcome po on my channel and let's have this topic. Now, ang ating objective for today po ay... So, under po ng week 5 ng ating MELC natin for the new normal. So, ito po ay may class code po na nasa screen natin. So, that's M8ALLE2. So, yun po ang ating. So, illustrate linear function or linear equation in two variables. Determine the slope through its equation and rewrite uh, a standard form or general form of a line into slope intercept form. So, rewriting po tayo. So, let us try to recall first. So, example of linear equation, guys, in two variables are the following on your screen. So, we have the standard form, which is ax plus by equals to c. Ito po yung example niya. Now, for general form, we have ax plus by plus c equals to 0. Ang target natin, guys, is rewriting from the standard form, which is ax plus by equals to c, into our slope-intercept form. Which is y equals to mx plus b. Recall natin guys na yung m ang slope natin at yung b ang tinatawag natin y intercept. Yung ginawa natin last sa video natin guys, yun yung po yung traditional na paraan. So I'm going to give you an example na medyo mas madali. So, so example po ng slope intercept form natin ay y equals to 2x plus 4. Kung saan po ang 2 natin ang slope natin at ang ating 4 ang y-intercept. Ginagamit po ito guys sa pag-graph. No? So ito po yung example na sinasabi ko sa inyo. Let's have 2x minus 3y equals to 4. No, pag ni-write mo siya, matagal na paraan yung traditional way, yung nilipat pa natin. Ito no? ang ginawa natin dyan. So we're going to identify first guys yung ABC natin. So for letter A, we have a positive 2. For letter B, we have a negative 3. And for lesser, uh, num letter C, we have number 4. Now guys, i-apply po natin siya sa ating nagawang formula. So pag ng slope guys, using the standard form, we follow M equals to negative A all over B. Samantala guys, yung y-intercept natin ay C over B. Now, simple simple ang gagawin natin guys. Isa substitute lang natin. So, we're going to substitute the given equation to the problem. So, napansin ninyo, si 2 po ay positive. So, substitute it to A, kaya po naging negative to siya. So, ang ibabaw naman natin, ang bin naman natin siya yung negative 3. So, dividing both sides, or dividing them, guys, simplifying them, negative 2 divided by negative 3 is positive 2 third. So, meron na po tayong slope which is 2 third. Now, Para naman po sa ating uh, y-intercept, we have c over a. So, identifying our c, that would be 4. Ang binaman po natin ay negative 3. So, simplifying them, sabi ko sa inyo, sa mga other video ko, na, napansin nyo na po to, kapag may negative ang ilalim ng fraction, pwede mo siyang ilipat immediately sa ibabaw. It doesn't change the value of the fraction. So, ang give sagot po natin for our uh, y-intercept ay negative 4 over 3. So guys, simple ang simple. Na-identify mo na ang slope, na-identify mo na ang y-intercept. Diyan papasok guys, yung ating uh, slope-intercept form. Ipapalit na natin yung ating given na slope at ang ating given na y-intercept. Di ba napakadali? Tsaka guys, ito yung paraan para mas madali mo ma-identify kung ano yung slope na sinasabi o tinatanong ng guru mo. Sinabi ay, uh, JV, find the, the slope of 2x minus 3y equals to 4. 
ay naasa naalala mo, negative A over B siya. So, gawin mo, ah, uh, two-third po. O, di ba? By substituting the value of A and B, matik, makuha mo magandang yung kanyang kasagutan. Okay? Now, so, pag nirewrite natin siya, guys, so, sabi ko sa inyo, pwede natin siyang paltan ngayon. So, ang gagawin po natin, si negative A over B plus C over B, eto po yun, ipapalit po natin siya sa ating problem. So, applying them, So, negative, laging positive po siya ngayon. So, 2 over 3x plus negative 4 over 3. O, yung solution natin kanina guys, na napakasimple. Si m natin ay negat, uh, positive 2 over 3. Yung, palitan nyo na agad. Ang b natin ay, excuse me po, ang b natin ay negative uh, 4 over 3. So, simple-simple. Pinaltan mo lamang yung ating problem or yung ating equation na slope intercept form by the value of the m and the uh, uh, slope intercept uh, slope intercept natin. Okay? So, pinalitan mo lang yung slope intercept form natin ng slope at saka ng y-intercept. So, so, let's try again with other problems. So, we have 5x plus 4y equals to 10. So, our, we identify the ABC again. So, we have 5 4 and 10 respectively. So, papalitan po natin yan. So, napansin nyo guys. So, we just substitute A. We have 5 here. Over 4 which is B. So, we have C which is our 10. Over 4 which is our B which is 4. So, simplify po natin ang equation natin. It will turn out to be a negative 5 over 4. X plus 10 over 4. Si 10 over 4 guys, ay pwede pang simplify Using greatest common factor. Kaya po, divide natin siya sa 2. 10 divided by uh, 2 is 5. 4 divided by 2 is 5. Kaya po, ang sagot natin ay y equals to negative 5 over 4x plus 5 over 2. So, simple simple po. No need a lot of process. Matic, meron ka ng slope intercept form. Okay? So, yun po. So, Guys, if you really understand our lesson for today, so I'm going to give you 5 items to work with. So, 5 minutes guys. So, no need to answer all of them guys. Try mo lang kung kaya ninyo. Uh, this is just a test whether you really know our discussion for today or not. So, ulitin ko ha. Ang slope natin ay negative A over B. Ang y-intercept po natin ay C over B. So, makatulong po yun sa inyo sa pagkasagot po nito. Guys, 5 minutes. So, timer start.
So guys, five minutes up. Let us check your work whether you find the answer or not. So ito po yung mga sagutan natin. For number one, we have y equals to negative 3x over 4 plus 5 over 4. For number 2, y equals to 2x over 5 plus 2. For number 3, we have y equals to 3x minus 9. For number 4, we have y equals to negative x minus 3. And for number 5, we have 2x over 5 minus 3. I hope you got all of those correct answers, guys. So, sino po nakatama? Who got 5? Who got 4? Okay, so I hope you learned something from our discussion, guys. If you have some question, clarification, or suggestion, guys, you may comment it below or just message me. Find me in Facebook. Nalagay po dun ay Hugotsip9. It's a para siyang pangalang Hugotsip9 talaga na alagay. You may find that person and you may ask a lot of questions about mathematics, especially grade 8. So, tatry ko pong sagutan lahat ng inyong mga query. Okay po guys, so guys, thank you po. God bless. So I hope I'm going to see you on my next video. So for my pages, pakifollow na lang po yung mga yan guys. So I hope you learned something from our discussion. God bless po and mabuhay po. And ingat po tayong lahat. Ingat po guys, ingat po ang mga matkahugot.